Hey guys, it is Arika Misha, and today we're in the kitchen, and we're going to be cooking some chili. It's getting cold in Florida, so we need some chili. All right, so as you guys can see, I've got two chilies. I have the Wendy's chili, and if y'all don't know about that Wendy's chili, I feel sorry for y'all. That Wendy's chili be bussing. For it to be a little quick, fast food chili, it's really good. So now they make the Wendy's chili in a can. We'll see about that, Wendy's. All right, anyway. So, I got four cans of that famous Wendy's chili. Give y'all a close-up look at that chili. It look all right. It look all right. You know, we'll see. And then we have the Campbell's. Y'all know, one of the most famous soups. Campbell's Chunky Chili with Beans. Oh, no. Campbell's looking pretty good. They got a lot of beans, but I don't see no meat, Campbell's. We'll see about that. Most chilies that come in a can don't really have that much meat. So, we'll see. All right, and of course, you got to have cornbread with your chili. Duh, it's got to be Jiffy's. What other cornbread is you using? Anyway, and also, I got some more beef. I always get extra beef and put it in the chili because you know why? These canned chilies be all beans and no beef. So, I got a little extra beef. Y'all see, I'm just going to grill that beef up and just add it to the chili just to give us a little extra meat. All right, y'all see what we're doing today. This is going to be Wendy's versus Campbell's. We'll see about that. Okay, guys, I'm back. I've got my cornbread mix in my bowl. Just going to show y'all real quick how I do this. Um, follow directions. You know, we always add in our own stuff. Y'all know how we do. All right, so on the side of the box, of course, the mix, one egg, one third cup of milk. That's just on the side of the box. Yeah, uh -huh, bake it up. All right, but of course, I got my mix in there, and of course, I already measured because I have two boxes, so I have to do one third, one third, double the ingredients, duh. So I've got my one third, one third cups of milk I already measured out. Got my two eggs I'm finna add in here. All right. Uh oh. Did I drop a shell in the. The devil is a lie. Hold on, you all. I'm going to drop the whole eggshell. See, that's why I crack my eggs in here. And then I add it to my mix. Because sometimes I crack and I get eggs in there. Oh, well. It is what it is. Let me wash my hands real quick. Okay. All right. Let me show y'all my muffin pan I'm going to use. Because I'm going to make cornbread muffins. I'm not going to make, like, the full cornbread. I'm doing cornbread muffins. So... So I'm doing two boxes, so I should have enough if I need to use this pan for the extra. And I also have a little heart-shaped pan. You know, I, I like doing little cute stuff for the girls. All right, so we got our eggs in here. We got our milk in here. And I always add a little butter. Add as much butter as you want. That's on y'all. Um, I usually add like a... Huh, how, how can I give y'all measurements? Uh, three, three table... Three, um... Uh, Shucks, well, just half a stick of butter. Half a stick of butter. That's the easy way to do it. And I also have some honey. I don't know how much honey this is, y'all, but, but, look at it. Like, half of the, half of the bear head. <laughs> anyway, you all, I add the honey for the sweetness. I just swizzle that in there. You know what? That's about, um, you know, because people like measurements. And y'all know I'm just used to just throwing stuff in here how I want to throw it in there. But uh, I'd say two tablespoons of honey just to give it that sweetness. Okay, let's move all that. We're going to mix this up. And the directions, of course, 400. Set your uh, stove preheat. I've already preheated my stove at 400. And the, uh, 15 to 20 minutes. So... Y'all ain't got to see me mix this. Y'all done seen cornbread mix before. Let me just give y'all a close look, man. I'm going to finish mixing this. I'm going to go ahead and um, put it in my muffin pan over here. And y'all will see the muffins when they're done. But the next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and get this chili on. And one thing I like about this meal is quick and easy. It's, it's canned chili. You just throw it in your pot. You heat it up. But y'all already know I'm going to add my own. Y'all will see. Y'all will see. You got to make it your own. Because sometimes they can't chili be missing something. All right, y'all. I'll be back. All 
Okay, guys, I'm back. I've got um, my cornbread. It's already done. I'll show y'all that. I want to just go ahead and get that done and out of the way. So I have my stove on. I've got two different pots. Of course, I'm not going to combine the chilies. Uh, duh, no. So I'm going to be cooking the Campbell's uh, chili by itself. And the Wendy's chili is going to have its own pot. And of course, because the Campbell's soup uh, cans are bigger, I used to, I'm using a bigger pot. So I've got my stove on. Let's go ahead and dump our chili in. And like I said, it's one thing, the only thing I don't like about um, chili in the can, it's usually all beans and they don't really give you much meat. That's why I always get my own beef on the side and cook it so that I can add to it. And of course, I'm going to give you guys a close look. Let's get these four cans dumped in here. Yeah, see, these, it's a lot in these cans. So I'm glad I went with this bigger pot. Let me give y'all a close-up look, though, how it looks in the can. Not bad for it to be canned. Really not. That is not bad at all. But like I said, all beans and very little meat. All right, so we've got our fourth can in there. Let me go ahead, get that Wendy's chili in. Y'all come on over so we can get the Wendy's chili in. And I will give y'all a close-up look at that Wendy's chili as well from the can. How the Wendy's chili looks. It's okay. Like I said, not bad for a can. Yeah, and I already had my stove on, so... That's why I wanted to hurry up, come over here and get this chili dumped in here. Little smaller cans. I mean, they're not that much smaller, but they are a little smaller. Wendy's chili looks just like Wendy's. Looks just like the chili at the restaurant. And one thing I like about Wendy's chili, if you guys don't know about it, for it to be a fast food restaurant, their chili is really decent. It's really decent. Okay. Alright, so we got all our Wendy's. Uh, chili in there. I'm going to zoom you guys in so you can get a close look at what it looks like. And see, as you guys can see, they put more chili in it than beans. Gotta have some meat. I don't want just beans. That's the Wendy's chili. Looks pretty decent. Looks just like the Wendy's chili. And the Campbell soup. Well, Campbell chili. Guys, see. Alright, so I'm going to bring you guys out. Because it is starting to simmer. Let me bring you guys out so you guys can get a, a good view of what I'm going to be doing. So, I've got two wooden spoons. Got to use wooden spoons for your chili. Just my opinion. Anything I say on my channel is just my opinion. Just my opinion. So, go ahead and get this stirred up. I'm going to taste it and see what else I need to add to it to make it my own. You know, because it's canned, you want to make it your own, you know. Make it taste as close to homemade as you can. Alright. And as you guys can see, see that all, all beans, you know, it's not no meat in it. It's not really any meat in it. Let me taste it. That's good. I need to add some onion and garlic to this onion and garlic to that one <clears throat> all right cut my heat down so it's not boiling we don't need it to boil all right over here to the wendy's chili let's see see what we got going on i've got it at a medium heat we don't want to boil it let me cut this down yeah let me cut it down we don't want to boil it i mean it's already done we're just warming it up so i cut my heat down to a low heat just to get it hot, let me see. The Wendy's chili looks much better. It's got beans, but it also has more meat. So, I'm telling you, that Wendy's chili tastes just like Wendy's. It feels like I just pulled up the Wendy's and ordered their chili. Exact, tastes the exact same way, looks the same way. I mean, I'm telling you, perfect beans got some meat in there i still want to add a little bit of meat to the wendy's but the wendy's chili i mean and as far as taste i'm sorry i give i i like the the uh wendy's chili better than the campbell's i i really do i really do wendy's just have more flavor more taste more meat you know it's not all beans 
chili ain't just all beans y'all it's not i don't care what you say it's chili it's the beans and the beef i mean hello that's why you put both in there but i'm definitely i mean giving this to wendy's already giving it to wendy's already and wendy's there's nothing i want to add to wendy's you know what I may add a little garlic, but let's go ahead and add this beef. Let's add our beef. Add that to the Wendy's. Add the rest to this Campbell's because they need some meat. Campbell's ain't got no meat. Little bit of pieces of meat. No. So, all right, we gave a little meat to Wendy's. Well, that's going to be good. Get that mixed up in there. I'll give y'all a close-up look at this Wendy's chili. Oh, God. That looks so good now that I've added that meat. Oh, that Wendy's going to be perfect. Oh, that's going to be so good. Okay, so we're going to let that sit. Get all nice and hot. Let's go over here to our Campbell's. Get this meat, this beef mixed up in here. Because Campbell's, y'all definitely need some help with the meat. Definitely. But you know, it's canned, so they ain't gonna give you too much meat. And it sits in the can, you know, on the shelf. So you don't want too much meat in there anyway, if you think about it. That's how I think about it. I don't need a bunch of meat sitting in the can on the shelf. You know, it's only good for so long. All right. Okay, that Campbell's need a lot of help. So, my Wendy's is delicious. I am going to add to both of these. I am going to add uh, some onion and garlic. And when I say add to it, hold on, y'all. Let me get my onion and garlic out of the refrigerator. I'll show y'all. Because that's the thing. And I'm going to add some hot sauce just to make it a little spicy. Give it a little kick. Let me get that out the refrigerator. Hold on, you all. Uh, I've been using that Cristal. Gotta use the Cristal hot sauce. Gotta use that. And my Spice World minced garlic. And Spice World now has the uh, minced onion. Yep. So, I'm going to add both of those. Give me one second. I got a little mess to clean up here. Alright. But I'm going to be adding. Let me see. Let me take this top off my onion. Okay, y'all gonna see. Just adding a little blob of onion like that. Just adding that to both of them. Because we need a little bit more onion taste. Gotta make the chili your own. Alright, let's get a little garlic in there. Just a little bit. Just a little bit of garlic. Not too much. Y'all see I just added a little bit. And we're gonna add a little hot sauce. Just give it a little spice, not too much. I just did like four shakes of the hot sauce. Just a, you know, enough spice, not too much. Let me get this mixed in. And then I'm going to see how it tastes now that I've added all that goodness. Just making it my own. You do it how you want to do it, however you want to season your chili up. That garlic and onion in there, a little hot sauce to give it a little kick. Some people don't like spicy chili. I like regular chili and I like a little spice too, but not too much. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. Ooh, we're going to let that. I'm going to put the top on, let it sit for a minute so it can soak in all the, the goodness. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's real good. Alright, let's go over here to the Wendy's. Let's get our onion and garlic and a little hot sauce mixed in there. Probably should have used a bigger pot for the Wendy's. Get that all mixed in. Looking good. Mm, 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 mm. Looks good. Getting a little cold here in Florida. We entering our winter season, so 
Chili's is the best. But one thing I like about Wendy's. Oh, wait. I got a little spill on the side. One thing I like about Wendy's. Of course, they sell their uh, chili year round. And the thing about Wendy's chili is it doesn't have to be winter for you to want that chili. That chili is year around. It's so good. That's how good that Wendy's chili is. In the can, the exact same thing as when you go to the restaurant. I've gotten it enough to know. It tastes just like it. This this is their chili. So good. Alright, let me taste it. Oh, that's good. That is real, real good. And one thing about Wendy's chili, it has more of like a roasted taste to it. You know, like roasted, like they roasted it or something. Uh, more like a smoky roast taste. Uh, and you know, Campbell's is just like, you know, that kind of um, chili you make at home. That little homemade chili. That's what Campbell's tastes like. Once I added all my stuff to it. But I'm going to zoom y'all in real quick. And that's it, y'all. That's it. That's all. Nice, quick, easy meal. Of course, you can make it homemade, of course. But this way is quick and easy, and you can make it your own. Quick and easy. Throw the cans in the uh, pot, heat it up, and i got to take y'all over. This is the Campbell's soup. I mean Campbell's soup. I'm so used to saying Campbell's soup. That's the Campbell's chili, and this is our Wendy's chili. Zoom y'all in real good. So good. Easy, easy peasy. Now, I'm going to take y'all over here to our cornbread muffins. All right, we got our cornbread muffins. Zoom y'all into those. Those came out perfect and good. And my heart's over there. I don't know what my heart's doing over there. They look a little, they look a little weird, but y'all know. This is my heart muffins. They cute. All right, y'all. That was it. Quick, easy, family meal. Meal for yourself, whatever you want to do. All right, guys, that's it. Quick, easy video. Chili, you can cook for the family. Y'all see me do it, so you know I did it. This is Arika Misha. Oh, and before I go, make sure y'all go over. And the link in the description box is my spiritual channel. Make sure y'all go over there and join me on my spiritual journey over there. All right, this is Arika Misha. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Follow me on all my social media. That's uh, Facebook, Instagram, and of course YouTube at Arika Misha. Thanks, guys. Bye.